Welcome to another episode of Ken Fashion Journey. Today we are, we are sharing about loafers. So the main topic whereby I like to share with each one of you is that the question is which one comes first? The penny loafer by GH Bass comes first or the olden loafers come first? So which is the uh, predecessor? Now let me just share with you further and then we'll, have, we'll take a closer look. Check it out. Well, let's talk about the a, a best penny loafer. The best penny loafer was actually the first pair was made by GH Best back in 1936. As you know that this pair of penny loafer, it is being inspired by the fishermen from Norwegian. That's why it's called the best region. So the best region the first pair was made in America in 1936. Whereas when you talk about the uh, tassel loafer, whereby tassel loafer are always regarded as the big brother of the penny loafer. The tassel loafer was first conceptualized from this Grammy Award actor, Peter Lucas. Peter Lucas back in 1948, he bought a pair of shoes. This Hungarian actor, he bought a pair of Oxford in laces and then in front of the laces there's two tassel so mr lucas was thinking it will be nice should i have this pair of shoe made without the laces so he would prefer a slip on but with tassel so what happened is that the, uh, mr peter lucas went to new york and the rest is history whereby all them they took the pair of shoe and they made a pair of tassel loafer for Mr. Peter Lucas. How was it made? First of all, Alden took the slit last of the penny loafer and then they use it for the tassel loafer and then they built a ramp across over here and then they shape the pair of tassel loafer to be a bit pointy so that it can look a bit more elegant and then they put a tassel on it and then with all the boot shoe inspired to give that sporty look but yet maintaining the elegance by the shape. So what I'm trying to say is that the penny loafer comes first before the tassel loafer. Now let's go back and talk about the topic of the uh, uh, penny loafer. Just check it out. Actually we have to thank Mr. G.H. Bass for bringing the uh, uh, penny loafer to America because this penny loafer is actually exactly like jazz. Jazz was the gift of America to the world. Same thing I believe that GH Bass gave the penny loafer to the world and it was immortalized by Mr. or President John F. Kennedy whereby he wore it back in 1963 and it really looks cool and it became the symbol and the trademark of the Ivy League style. So this traditional GH Bass uh, penny loafer, it first came out in this flat strap whereby now they call it the a, uh, Logan, the design. And then it also comes in this particular one they call the Larson. The Larson, it comes with a beef roll. Then they have to design. But the original one and the best pair that you can get, I always believe, is the Logan. Because this is the class, this is the classic pair of a penny loafer. And for all college students, actually buying the first pair of leather shoe is quite difficult, especially in this market, because we have the horsebeat loafer, we have the tassel loafer, we have all sorts of loafers in the market. And we have all those loafers coming from Europe, from Italy, so actually it's very difficult. But nothing can beat the penny loafer for the college student, for the freshman and sophomore. And especially when you go into your junior year. Because this 
penny loafer is exactly as classic and as vintage as the Levi's 501. So actually, the best penny loafer is the iconic item. Just like the Levi's 501, it is iconic. And then the best color to buy, I recommend, is none other than this particular color, this shade they call burgundy, or you can call it ox blood. Because this color is neither too dark or too light as compared to another color which is the lighter tan. This is the English tan which is a bit too light. This particular color can carry you from the day to the night. It will look great with your khakis, your chinos, and also it looks great with your pink stripe suit and also with your charcoal grey flannel. And of course, this will be a staple item with the blazer, the khakis, the Oxford shirt, and your sports jacket. And when you talk about whether between the black and the burgundy, of course, if you have budget, you buy two pairs. However, if you are lacking a budget, if you want to select one pair, or you are hesitant, you haven't tried the penny loafers before, go for this color and go for this particular design with the flat strap, which is called Logan. And why it's called penny? Because during those days, those young boys, they will always need the penny to make a phone call. That's why they put two pennies on each of the shoes so that then they will have two pennies to make a phone call. Because back in those days, in the 60s, there isn't any mobile phone. So we have to use a paid phone. So that is the, the main difference. And I'd like to share with you, I have tried all sorts of brands. I'm not a, uh, being paid by GH Best to share across this message, but I have tried brands who make loafers from Cohen, from Allen Edmonds, from Johnston Murphy, from Polo Ralph Lauren, and also from churches, not, nothing can compare and can beat the ruggedness of the penny loafer, which is made by GH Best. And most important thing is that my first pair, I have won six pairs of it. Now this is my seventh and my eighth pair. So what happened is that my first pair was made in May. And then thereafter, they switched their factory to Latin America to places like Honduras or Nicaragua. However, they maintain their quality because they ship their factory is mainly due to the high cost of labor and then they like to pre uh, what they call it, share with all the consumers a good value pair of penny loafer whereby this penny loafer it costs about average about 80, 90 or 100 US dollar. It cannot go beyond that. Should it be still be made in America, it will easily set you back for 250 US, nothing less. So for all of us to enjoy, that's why GH Best move their factory and keep their price low so that each one of us for generations, we can enjoy and cherish this uh, penny loafer. So till the next episode of a uh, Ken Fashion Journey, I will be talking about, I'll be actually deep dive to talk about the tassel loafer. This time I'll be talking about what's the difference between the olden tassel loafer, the original olden tassel loafer, whereby I will share with you my pair of olden compared to the immaculate and the amazing pair of tassel loafer from Brooks Brothers, which is also made by Alden. So till the next episode of Ken Fashion Journey, I look forward to see you again soon. And hopefully you like my channel, please press the subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner. And I look forward to see you in the next episode of Ken Fashion Journey. Bye.